Okay, so with this example, what we are going to do is we're going to build an object using a couple of different reference images. Um, it's going to run quite similar to this guy here, which was the um, freeform modeling for the saw casing, which was via the um, Autodesk um, beginner uh, series. Okay, so if you haven't done this one first, I would like you to go back and just have a look. Um, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use some similar principles on a different object. Okay, so we're going to come into here and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a canvas. Okay, I'm going to navigate to my canvas and in this case we're doing a bow. So what I'll do is I'll drop the canvas um, on my front plane first and just zoom in so we can see it. The good thing about this image that I have is that it is um, essentially I've got two views for it. Okay, I've got two views which is going to make my life uh, significantly easier from a um, modeling perspective because I have a better idea of essentially what's going on. So I'm just going to think about my orientation a bit. I'm going to use put the origin on the back end of the boat, okay? And that will make sense in a second why I've done that. I'll calibrate the image. So we'll run from there. And let's just run to the end of the canvas and we'll make that 1000. Okay, scaled it up. And as you can see, it scales around the axis. So I just need to move it again and get it on that point, which is good. Okay. So now I have my canvas on the front plane. I'm now I'm going to come back and I'm going to insert another canvas. Same image. Okay. This time, however, I'm going to put it on the top plane. Okay, so I get it in there, and I'll turn off the first canvas just so I can see what I'm doing a bit clearer. And I'm going to grab this guy, and I'm just going to have to modify it a little bit. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to rotate it around 90 degrees. Okay, we're going to want to calibrate it again. So in the back, in the end of the canvas, we get a thousand. And this time, I'm going to orientate the back, okay? But I want to get the boat centralized on my x-axis, near that. Okay, and now, bingo. You can see that I've got two canvases. It's a little bit confusing because I've still got the leftover of the canvas there, which is not ideal. To make your life easier, what you might want to do is separate these into two separate images. Okay, and then you can see them nice and clearly. All right, but what I can do is, because I can cycle these on and off, okay, I'm not too concerned about it in this instance, because I'm going to model on this side, and then I'll cycle them, and then I'll look from the top and I'll check things. So, I've got my object in here, create forms, create face. I'm going to start on this plane, and we'll just get a basic shape out to start with looks good. Okay, if we come across here, I can see that I'm hard up against this plane. Now if I'm going to do something symmetrical, it's probably not where I want it. So I'm going to edit, I can pull it out, but what I'll do, is I'll just flip these, and when I want to have a look down, I can see where I'm resting. Okay. So now I know I'm at the right distance out because I've used this viewpoint 
to look at it. So I'll come back along and now let's edit our face and I'm just going to start essentially drawing out my shape. Okay. You can see that I'm just gently modifying So go. I start to build out my shape. That's a reasonably good sort of looking profile. Okay. But we're obviously working way out in the boonies out here. Okay. So, if I come back to my front, I'm going to come back to these edges. I might just grab that loop, okay? I might just shift up a little bit, okay? Hold my option key. Remember, the option key is really useful here because it just allows me to work things in. I'm not going to stress too much about in there at this point. But we can see that we're starting to get our form coming together. But I need to start rolling it back in. So grab the edges, hold my option key, start to bring it back in. However, if I look here, I'm missing that section there. So if I undo and come back, shift and double click, pull through and we can see we're starting to get a form come back this way. Okay, it might be worth just a couple of edge sets for that. Okay, so we get a bit more definition in the bottom here. It's all looking pretty good. So now that I've got that base sort of form, I've actually got the hull starting to happen. I'll come back in here. And I'm just going to switch again, come back to my top plane, and then actually start just looking at this object and saying, where are we going wrong with this? How can we start to adjust this form get things where we want them. And again, it's going to be a process of just working through, looking at our form, modeling, looking at our form, modeling. Okay. But you can see with this example how by using multiple canvases, they can start to help you build a really clear picture about the form of your object. Which will then enable you to build a clearer picture. but also take the design and make it your own.
then see that because of the T-splines, I can actually start to really shape and do some interesting work with this object. Like the last modifier, if I want to, I can come in and grab that edge, modify, flatten, and bring it up to that plane. Got something a little bit weird happening here, which we can repair later. You can see how we're starting to build our object. And that's a really nice way for you to be able to attack these things in your own work because you can generate a sketch of an object and say, yep, I really like this. Now, how do I get it into my 3D environment? And by being able to import your sketch work or import an image of something you've seen that you really like, that is going to give you a huge step in the right direction in terms of actually being able to bring it together in a 3D environment.